Hello, everybody. Sunday Adelaide back here. I want to talk today on the topic give to the poor and become poor. That is the uh, doctrine that is being propagated in a lot of churches, as I heard. Give to the poor and become poor. And I've heard and I heard that there are so many churches that are actually saying that now. That and they base it on the situation with Melchizedek. What they are now saying, because Abraham gave to Melchizedek for him to receive the blessing. So what that's what we are now saying. That the junior always wants to give him. But when he talks about Melchizedek blessing or the greater blessing the junior, it's not just that only in, in prayers I should be blessing you. I can bless you with money too. I can bless you with material fruit, no resources as well. All the all the word of God, all areas in the Bible talks about people who are well to do, people who are children of God or who are Christians to always bless the poor. So let's see what the Bible says about that. Is it scriptural to say you shouldn't give to the poor? Is it scriptural to say that the greater does not give to the one that is younger? That is only the one that is younger that should be bringing to the one that is greater? Is it scriptural or is it not scriptural? Let's see what the Bible says. In Proverbs 28 verse 27 in Proverbs 28 verse 27 the Bible says here he who gives to the poor will not lack but he who hides his eyes will have many curses so in fact there are greater promises of blessing to anyone that is giving to the poor it says he who gives to the poor will not lack he who gives to the poor will not lack Listen to that again. He who gives to the poor will not lack. So that is the direct opposite of what they are teaching that never give to the poor so that you don't become poor. No, you must give to the poor so that you will not become poor. Another scripture in James chapter 1. James chapter 1 verse 27 says, It's a pure and undefined religion before God and the Father is this, to visit and take care of the orphans, to visit and take care of the widows and of the people in trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. If we practice on the fire religion, we will take care of the needy, we will take care of the destitute, we will take care of the widows, we will take care of the poor. And that is directly against whatever those people are saying that don't ever give to the poor because if you give to the poor, you become poor. Jesus told us the parable of the Good Samaritan. We all have heard that parable. He says, even though that man, the one that passed by the good, the needy man, was a priest. He said, because the question was, who will inherit? What should we do to inherit the kingdom of God? The priest will not inherit the kingdom of God, not because he didn't confess the Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. He was a pastor now, but he will not inherit the kingdom of God because he bypassed the needy. There is no love for God without love for man. But the one that is not, he didn't come to church, he's not a church member, who is a Samaritan. He is the one that will inherit the kingdom of God. Why? Because he has faith in his heart. His faith is purer than the one that are sleeping in the church. So if you want to sow money, go and look for the ones who will not be able to reward you, give back to you. Go and look for the poor, the destitute. He, he, that is when you actually give to Jesus. Not when you go to sow you know, pastor's offering or whatever, faith offering, prophet offering. Those are false doctrine based on deception and greed. In fact, can you, I cannot even count the number of people, church members, Christians who are coming to me. Pastor, we want to sow into your anointing. We want to sow into you. We want to sow... I said they are passing by the, the naked, they are passing by the by the hungry, they are passing by, by the destitute, they are passing by the orphans, they are passing by the widows, they just turn their head, they don't even notice them at all. And they are looking for me because I'm a pastor, I'm a big man, to give their money to me. It's because of egocentrism and selfishness. They want to know that the anointing or whatever blessing I have will come to them. But they don't know that the greatest blessing is to look for those ones who nobody can reward. The Bible says that you give to the people who cannot give you back. Give to the people who cannot invite you back to their party. Give to the people who cannot reward you. Give to the people who cannot say thank you to you. But we are doing the opposite. We are giving to somebody who could give us blessing, who could bless us. Proverbs 22, 16 says, He who oppresses the poor to increase his riches... 
And he, who gives his money only to the rich, who only souls into rich people, will surely come to poverty because they are both wicked. If you are sowing to church only and you are not giving to the poor, you are as wicked in the eyes of God as the person who does who or is oppressing and taking advantage of the poor. It is the poor that is the priority of God. Is that doctrine that is saying only so to the poor, to the rich people, because their riches will come to you, it is based on greed. The next scripture that dispels and totally destroys that doctrine that don't ever give to the poor so that you will not become poor. The next scripture is Matthew 19.21. Matthew 19.21. Matthew 19 21 says Jesus said to him if you want to be perfect go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven so Jesus said it is only when you are able to give to the poor you qualify to call on it because he said he is the one who is poor he said I am the one who is hungry I am the one who is naked I am the one so if you cannot go and take care of me why should you follow me so to say that to give to the poor is to become poor is fallacy. It's not to have ever read the Bible. It's, it's, in fact, it is error. Proverbs 19.17 says, He who has pity and lends to the poor or gives to the poor, lends to the Lord. And he, he, God, will pay back what he has given to the poor. What you have given, the Lord will pay you back. That's Proverbs 19.17.